on um, application of physics uh, to integrals yeah so we have a triangular plate with base 2 meters and height 3 meters submerged vertically in water so that the tip is even with the surface express the hydrostatic force against one side of the plate as an integral and evaluate it okay we're gonna use gravity to be 9.8 meters per second square yeah and the density of water is how much uh, 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. Okay, so, um, let's draw a little figure here, yeah? And what we're going to do is we're going to place the x-axis right here at the tip of the plate. Okay, we're going to place the origin here at this corner. And then we're going to place the y-axis right here, yeah? And we're going to take a strip, yeah, like this. And what we're going to do is we will find the hydrostatic force on this i-th strip. And then, when, and then we will integrate it throughout the plate to figure out the entire um, hydrostatic force on the plate. So since we've taken this to be uh, uh, along the y-axis, uh, we're gonna. This is gonna be y i star away, yeah. And we know that the hydrostatic force is equal to pressure times area of the i-th strip. And what's the pressure on the i-th strip? The pressure on the i-th strip is equal to rho g times h in general yeah rho is the density of the fluid g is the gravity and h is the height of the strip below the surface of the water yeah so that means pi will be rho and g those are constants we can leave them out yeah times the height of the strip well the strip is y down yeah y below the surface below the origin o so it's going to be y i star okay and what's the area of our i strip the area of our i strip is just it's a rectangle yeah it's a piece like this so it's length times width yeah now since this has a very small thickness along the y axis the width of this strip is just delta y yeah and so this here is delta y. Now how long it is? We need to relate how long it is with the variable y because as you go down, the strip, the location of the strip changes along the y-axis. Okay. And to achieve that, what we're going to do is we're going to plot the right-hand side of the plate. Okay. And we're going to do a proportion between the sides to establish a relationship between the width of the strip and the location of the strip along the y-axis so um so let's say that this is the right half of the plate okay the origin is here and this here is the y-axis yeah and we know that the strip is somewhere here yeah and let's call this here s okay and we know that the distance from here to here is h or y right Okay, and we know that the width, according to the given, uh, the base is two meters, half of it will be one meter, yeah? And the height of the entire triangle is three meters. And now we can make a proportion because this small triangle here is similar to the entire big triangle, yeah? yeah. So if the two triangles are similar, we can say that three over one is equal to... Uh, the height of this is y over s and then that means s is equal to y over 3 and that would be half of the width of the strip because remember the strip extends twice the length to the other side because this is just half the plate yeah so um yeah don't yeah Okay.
and so uh, now we can take this so that means the width of the strip the area of the strip is equal to the length which is uh, 2s times delta y yeah which is equal to 2y 2 thirds y delta y and now we can go ahead and uh, write out the Riemann sum for the force so we could put everything together so the force yeah on the ith strip is equal to the pressure the pressure is rho g times y i star times the area of the strip which we said is two thirds y i star yeah times change in y and now we can go ahead and say that express this in a Riemann sum so the force will be equal to the sum of the forces from all the strips along the plate starting from the corner all the way down to the base so this is the summation from i equals 1 to n yeah of rho g two-thirds y i star squared delta y and then when we're done we take the limit as n goes to infinity that means we're splitting this into infinite amount of strips and then summing them all up to get the entire hydrostatic force and as such we can turn this Riemann sum into an integral so f equals the integral now yeah uh, two-thirds is a constant so I can pull it out and then we have rho g y i star just becomes y squared dy and we are integrating from zero the corner all the way down to the base and that happens to be three meters below because the height of the triangle is three meters and rho and g are constants so we could pull this out rho g y squared dy from 0 to 3 and the integral of y squared is y cube over 3 from 0 to 3 I will continue the problem up here because I ran out of space so f will be 2 thirds rho is uh, the density of water is 1000 gravity is 9.8 uh, y we're evaluating from 3, so 3 cube over 3 minus 0. Because when y is 0, the whole thing goes to 0. And so the magnitude of the force will be um, uh, 1000 times 9.8. Oh, this is 3 cube times 9. Times two over three, so fifty-eight thousand and eight hundred newtons, and this would be the final answer for the problem. Thank you. Rate, subscribe, and comment, please.